Hello all. Today I'm going to show you how we can create a filter animation. As you can see here in this website. So we are going to create this in Figma. I'm not going to do a coded version of the animation here today. But in case if you want, just comment in my channel. I will show you how you can create it in the coded version as well. So let's go to Figma as usual. So this is our Figma, a blank page. So we are going to create our first frame. Um, so let's make it as a maybe MacBook Pro size. And then let's zoom into here. Switch to design mode. And then as you notice in the, in the website, we have our buttons at the top to filter. And then we have elements at the bottom as items, right? So let's go ahead and create this. So first let's create a label called filter. And then uh, we need to create a few buttons. So, so let's create a button here. And then control D on Mac uh, to duplicate. So we just keep pressing the control D so it will keep duplicating the same thing more and more so we don't need that much so we just keep only three for this uh, example here so we just put it as green and then we duplicate that and then we call it red put it in the center there and then we duplicate it again and call it yellow good now we have our buttons ready and we just need the color. So we go here, fill, and then we pick some color green and we pick some color red, maybe some lighter red there, yeah, and then yellow. good next we need to create um, elements here so we create block you can click uh, click the shift and hold the shift and then just click and drag so it will be perfect square so let's duplicate this control D and then keep pressing control D like few times um, how many copies you want so based on that you just keep doing that so let's create one more row so just press ctrl d to make more another duplicate of this and then something like that so now we have our elements ready now we just need to randomly colorize these items so i'm going to put color green and few color red and then rest as color yellow Great. Now we have our elements also ready here. Now, as you notice here in the website, we have one button to show everything. Let's say this is green, red, and yellow. If so, if you want to come back, that is show all. So we need to create one more button here. So let's create that button also here. Uh, that is to show all. So we just duplicate this and then let's create a new one. One here and just drag to there and let's call it or so that everything will be shown so you just click and put it in the middle there yes let's align to this middle looks good next Maybe just arrange it a little more nicely to look better. There, good. So, okay, sorry. We let's just quickly change this color so that it's not a green. Um, instead, we will have uh, a black color. Maybe not too dark. Maybe a little lighter and dark. Okay. So what you have to do next is um, simple. You just duplicate this frame click control 
Command D if it's on a Mac and Control D on Windows. So it creates an exactly same copy here to the right or left side of your screen. So next, click on the prototype at the right side and you click on green because you want to see only green. So you click and drag to the next frame and then now you can see new properties here at the right side and you can see by default it shows a smart animate so that's what we want so make sure you have selected smart animate to get this you can also manually click and go to the frame that you want to get animated but in this case we animate it to the i mean we clicked and drive so it's automatically selected there and then the animation property is ease in and out so i'm 30 300 milliseconds good now what we have to do is simple just take off the red and place the green there so make sure that um, the all the elements have exactly same distance so that it looks better when you animate now for the all what we have to do is link back to the first frame so that when you click on the all it jumps back to the first frame and make sure this is also by default uh, Figma does a job for you to do all these properties uh, by default smart animate so make sure in case if it doesn't work it's smart animate and it's easy now and it's and it's pointing to the frame first which is here and now let's go ahead and click the play button now we have the play view here now if you click outside you can see it's highlighting so let's click the green you can see now we have only green it's automatically animated and has a nice transition effect here and when you click the all let's see everything is going back to its original original position and then we have a good animation let's go ahead and create same for red yellow as well so we just need to duplicate this frame two more times so here we just take off the green and then we keep red take off and then keep red remove everything there and when you click on the red here it goes to this one which is our third frame so that you see only um, red items and then or click all it goes back to the first frame so that you can see the entire frame make sure it's smart animate so since you have duplicated you get the same property because it's a smart animate so it shows there always in case just make sure that it's selected as smart animate always and the last one we need to show just the yellow so we just take off all the other color here and then we keep just the yellow color there good and we remove all the other elements and here again we go back to the first frame and then click on that button and then click and drag to the fourth one and here when you click on the all click and go back to the first frame now it's connected each other back now you can see our connection here you can see how it's linked to each other uh, when you click all you can see yeah now let's go and play green yes go back to the all click red yes cool and yellow yes now it's all working fine perfectly so that's it thank you so much for watching i hope you're learning from my videos please subscribe to my channel i will be keep posting more interesting and helpful videos thank you